Hello, 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 Cancers. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to Queen Cancer Tarot Channel. My name is Catherine. I am the host and the creator of the channel. I am here to bring you clarity, guidance, and love messages. This channel is primarily created for Cancerians. However, I do welcome all cross watchers to this reading room. I also do read for all 12 signs. If you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, please go to my website. Also, please check, um, make sure that you guys are subscribed. You can uh, hit that watermark on the bottom right corner of your screen. That will allow your energy to flow freely through this message and all of the messages that I bring. All right. Okay. I do a giveaway on this channel every single month where I give away tarot cards. Oh, sorry. Some of you guys need to get some rest. Tarot cards, oracle cards, crystals, and jewelry. I've been getting nothing but rest, so I don't know why I'm yawning right now. I also do a weekly giveaway on this channel where I give away a three-question reading to three lucky subscribers. All you need to do is hashtag win or hashtag free reading in the comment section. That will allow your name to be entered into the drawing. Every video that you watch, if you hashtag win or free reading, I will enter your name that many times. So it's unlimited entries and you can win up to three times in a calendar year. Okay, all right. Let's go ahead and get started here, Cancers. So, I decided to be a little bit different, and I also decided to do an additional Cancer versus All 12 before we go on to um, before we go on to the other messages for Cancer today. I decided to do another you versus them because I was going to do one for the extended. Um, I was going to do cancer versus all 12 at the end and I didn't. So I decided to do an additional um, cancer versus all 12 for the collective. Now, this time we're going to do something a little bit different. Okay. Um, I am going to be looking at spirit shield oracle and we're going to be looking at, at four different tarot decks for each of the signs. So for water signs, we're gonna be looking at the Spirit Shield Tarot deck, okay, for the water signs. For the air signs, we'll be looking at this deck here. This is my Ann Stokes Vampire deck. And then we'll be looking at this deck here for the earth signs. my Mystic Mondays um, tarot deck here. And then we will look at this deck here for the fire signs, okay? All right? Okay. So what we are looking at for today, um, we want to see what your person is thinking about you, okay? You are on this person's mind, Cancer, um, and so we just want you to know what this person is thinking about you at this time. Is it good? Is it bad? Ugly? Something completely beautiful? <laughs> we don't know, but we're going to find out, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and light our incense, too. I always want to forget that part of it. All right, Cancers, let's go ahead and get started with your reading. Cancers at four forty four. 444. Starting with cancers. What is this person thinking about you right now? Oh, it's very angels and guides. Tell me about cancer, please. 
time to get in about cancer. What is this person thinking about cancer? Someone has an Uvena sign. Now, this could be you, Cancers, if you were dealing with another Cancer or just Cancer in general. Okay, so we have Meddler. Bad advice, steering you in the wrong direction, giving advice for what's best for them, interfering, nosy, and two-faced. Under the deck here, we have success, happiness and love, prosperous career, good health, healing and financially stable. So... So basically what we have here, perhaps there's an energy of somebody who's not wanting you to be happy here. Um, maybe you have moved on from this person and you found happiness um, in love somewhere else, but there's an energy of this person um, is interfering. There's someone who's interfering in that. Okay, they're not wanting you to move forward and go be with someone else. So this person may be coming in and telling you something that's not true about the person that you're with. There's something going on where somebody is being nosy. I mean, not just nosy, but they are actually physically interfering in the connection here. So let's see. Tell us about cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and yes, tell us about God. Tell us about cancer, please. There could be an energy of this person may think that you would meddle in their success. Tell me about cancer, please. King of Cups, the Fool, and Justice here. Yeah, this is somebody that you're separated from, that you are no longer with. Um, with the Fool and the Justice card here, there's an energy of somebody, and this could be uh, karmic, but I definitely felt like this was an ex, someone that you moved on for, from, went to have uh, a relationship elsewhere, you know, decided you wanted something else. Um, but with the justice card, there's an the energy of this person is coming back in because they feel as though justice was not served. Um, this person is not happy about the way that you walked out and left. Okay. I'm thinking if I want to double clarify. No, we're not. Let's move on. Sorry. Let's move on to Scorpio at 9.08. We're just going to keep these short and sweet. Okay, tell me about Scorpio. What is your person thinking about you? So we have blessings here, Scorpio. Under the deck, we have chemistry. Unexpected money, being spoiled or spoiling yourself, more energy, prosperity in all things, and good health. Under the deck, sexual encounter, overwhelming attraction, sexual frustration. Okay, so basically, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, there's somebody that you... Um, you know, you had intimacy with and afterwards, I feel like this person is, you know, doing things for you. Um, this person is spoiling you or there's some sort of unexpected gifts that you're receiving. 
anything from this person after, you know, things have gotten intimate with this person. So, yeah. I mean, I'm just saying it. I'm not saying anybody's doing anything they shouldn't be doing. I'm just saying that somebody is being very nice and generous to you, Cancer, um, after the relationship or Scorpio, after the relationship has taken a turn. So, let's see here. So, we have the Four of Wands with the Seven of Cups and the Ten of Wands here. It's a lot of fire and energy. Um, you know, this is an energy of someone who is um, made a promise of commitment or someone who is um, making a commitment to someone with that seven of cups. This talks about either options, okay, or this person has a lot of choices available to, to them once they commit, okay. Um, with the Ten of Wands, there's an energy of this person feels responsible. So I feel like this is just a Scorpio who, who you know, is used to taking care of their person. So, you know, definitely I've known people who are very much known for spoiling and taking care of their partner. Do you know what I'm saying? Nothing wrong with that, but that's what's going on with the Scorpio. That's what they are thinking about you. Okay. Moving on to Pisces at 1153. All right. Tell me about Pisces, please. It's very interesting. Cut. So we have looks here. Haircut, losing weight, toning up, new clothes, new look, looking younger, and attention. So this Pisces is thinking about you and there's something about your looks, the way they have changed. Maybe you've lost weight, um, but this person is starting to notice you and thinking about you. With Ascension here, Yoda, meditation, starting spiritual journey. It's like this person is seeing you... Um, as ascending, they're looking at you or thinking about you as, you know, maturing. And I feel like this person is noticing you more and more as you mature. And I feel like you're, you're becoming more attractive to this person as well. Okay, tell me about Pisces, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guys, tell me about Pisces, person. Tell me about Pisces, please. So we have the Three of Pentacles in the reverse with the High Priestess. And we have the Queen of Pentacles here. Okay, so the three of pentacles in the reverse refers to some sort of a conflict within the group or there's a group of people and there's some sort of um, something is not driving. We have the high priestess here as well, which this refers to um, a higher power. Um, this is a divinely guided energy here with the high priestess. It talks about divine guidance, being divinely guided or listening to um, a higher power. Then we have the Queen of Pentacles. So this could be somebody that has children or somebody that you have children with. Okay. 
I want to know why we have this Three of Pentacles coming up here. Let me, let me double clarify here because this is going to drive me insane. Why do we have this Three of Pentacles in the reverse, please? Tell me what's going on with this Three of Pentacles in the reverse here. Why is this coming up here? There's three of pentacles coming up. And we have the six of swords. Now, the Six of Swords can talk about someone um, walking away or putting some distance between them and something else that's not working out for them. This is somebody who left. I feel like you're dealing with a Pisces um, cancer. Either you're dealing with a Pisces or Pisces, you're dealing with a person who walked away. And I feel like this is somebody you may have dated a long time ago, but I feel like you're going to see this person again. And this person is going to um, have some a new look about them. Like everything has changed about this person. This also talks about learning lessons. So this person, when they went away, there's something about this person and they have changed. And we have the Knight of Cups under the deck. You may see this person out um, and this person may come up to you, walk up to you um, and flirt with you. I feel like there's an energy of your, this person is going to come up to you. You're not even going to know who this person is when you see them. They're going to have a completely different look about them. Why do we have the high priestess here? Tell me about this high priestess, please. And we have the magician. The two of swords under the deck. Hold on just one second. Okay, sorry about that, Cancers. I had to pause the video. I had somebody at my door, so I apologize. I relight the incense here. And get back to you, Pisces, and the message here. Um, so basically, what we have, I feel like, with looks and ascension, I really do feel like this is somebody who was very, um, what's the word? I don't, not materialistic, but um, it's like this person was very vain. They were all about, you know you know, how they looked to other people, just a very immature energy. And I feel like there's an energy of this person has completely changed. I feel like they're no longer the same person. This is somebody that used to go out all the time, always in the club, you know, very, very wild lifestyle here. Um, but I feel like this person has moved on from that. With that Six of Swords and that Knight of Cups energy, this is somebody who's no longer, you know, going around flirting with everybody. You know, this is somebody who's much more quiet now. High Priestess and the Two of Swords um, with the Magician here. This is somebody who has made a decision to cut out what is no longer serving them. And I feel like this person is definitely ascended. They're more mature with that queen of pentacles. This could be someone who has had children. Okay. Since you've seen them last, but someone definitely is, has matured. Okay. Or there's an energy of, you know, this person is looking at you or thinking that you have matured here. Okay. 
All right, moving on at 2010 to Gemini. Okay, what is your person thinking about you? So we are going to be using this deck for the air signs here. All right, so tell me about Gemini, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. So home, new home, new apartment, new living arrangement, new furniture, home improvement. So uh, Gemini, you may be thinking that um, you're ready for something new or you're ready to maybe move in with your person. So I feel like your person is starting to think about how things would be if you were both to live together. So this is what's on their mind right now. Under the deck, sexy. Feeling attractive, flirting, you're enticing all eyes on you, lingerie and confidence. So this person is definitely, um, you know, feeling more attractive to you. I feel like this person is also, there's an energy of, you know, this person is wanting to keep you close. I feel like there are, you are very attractive. There could be an energy energy of this person is just not liking the fact that they have to go home every night or the two of you living in separate living arrangements. I feel like this person wants to have eyes on you a little more. Okay. So this is going to be the two of you moving in together. Okay. For that reason. So tell me more about this Gemini, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and God. Tell me about Gemini, please. What is Gemini thinking right now? Or what is Gemini's person thinking? Uh-oh. Okay. What is Gemini's person thinking? So we have the Knight of Cups with the Two of Cups in the reverse and the Hierophant. <laughs> so this person is really pretty much in an energy of not wanting to have others all gawking at you or down your throat. There's an energy of this person, you know, kind of jealous. Um, I won't say this person is insecure. I'm not going to go that far, but I definitely get the energy of this person feeling tension um, in the connection with you just being in a situation of just kind of, you know, going out dating, but this person wants something much more committed, much more long-term with the Hierophant energy. This is somebody that may even propose marriage because they're tired of, like I said, going, going home and leaving you in another location. This person is ready to settle down. Okay. And they're starting to think about that. All right. Moving on to Libra at 23.07. What is Libra thinking, or what is Libra's person thinking? Holy Spirit, angels, and gods. Cancer, if you're dealing with the Libra, this is what thinking. It's, it's you. This is what your person is thinking. So we have, and I don't know why I dealt out all those cards, but I did. So I got spirit, children, and witchcraft here. You are protected, blessings given, angels deceased loved ones, ancestors, and spirit guides are close to you and funeral. And then we have children, pregnancy, new beginning, fertility, spending time with children, immaturity, and a child. And then witchcraft, losing relationships, loss of money and energy, infertility, nightmares, bad luck, and illness. Um, so if you're dealing with uh, a Libra, I feel like th there's an energy of I feel like this person, um, I feel like this person is going through a dark night of the soul because of a loss of a child. Okay. I'm feeling like this person is feeling as though there is some sort of curse or hex on them or something that is keeping them from being able to have children. And I feel like this person is starting to feel um, as though this is going on. So whether or not they feel like there's something going on with you or with them, there's an energy of this person is feeling as though there's some other reason why you're not able to conceive. Okay. 
So let's see. Tell me more about this lever here. Oh, okay. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. We got the Queen of Pentacles right off the bat. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. Okay, with the chariot and the three of wands. So again, this is an energy of somebody with children or somebody wanting to have children here with the chariot energy. This is something that this person is very focused on. They're determined to do this um, with that three of wands. This person is, you know, they're ready to move forward with this and they're having a very difficult time. Now, the three of wands can also represent expansion and growth. So I do feel as though there is going to be something very positive that is coming through. OK, I am saying this. So if you are a Libra and you've been having a difficult time um, conceiving, I do see that coming towards you. Queen of Pentacles, the chariot and the three of wands, my dear, <laughs> it's going to happen. So I feel like there's an energy of just being patient. Um, I don't feel like there is anything wrong with you. I just feel like it's all in due timing here. This is all about timing. And it's all about being patient here and just just waiting, being in your divine feminine energy. OK, so blessings to you, Libra. Moving on to Aquarius at twenty six thirty three. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a child. It could be something um, that you're wanting to start, like a new business, or you're wanting to purchase a new home. There's something that you're wanting to do, and it hasn't been coming through, and you're starting to feel some type of way. Okay? But that's not the case. Just be patient. It is coming. All right? All right. Moving on to Aquarius. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. What is this Aquarius thinking? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Of course, I don't want all of this. Okay. Okay, tell me about Aquarius. Why is... I have butterfingers right now. Okay, I don't know why, but I'm going to take this card. This is, says peace. Peace. Under the deck here, we have deception here. Healing your inner child, shadow work, closure, surrendering to the divine ending cycles, and then deception, betrayal, sneaky behavior, don't trust easily, ignoring intuition, STD, secrets, and manipulation. Um, so I'm getting an energy. Aquarius, that you had to walk away from someone. Uh, this person is somebody that you just could not trust. This person was constantly like doing things and telling lies for no reason, um, or it appears to be no reason. Um, but this person is definitely always up to something. You had to deal with um, this person being very manipulative. This person could have even giving you an STD. Um, but I'm getting an energy of you removing yourself from this person um, and really, really getting to a place of peace. Okay. So this person, this Aquarius, yeah, I'm getting an energy of this person is, is healing themselves. They're doing some shadow work. This person knows that they were deceptive towards you. This person knows that you don't trust them. I feel like there's an energy of this person is and an energy of the divine is working with this person. I feel like you ended a cycle or separated yourself from this person. And because of this, I feel like the divine is now able to really show them, you know, their dark side. So let's see. Tell me about this Aquarius, please. We have the Page of Cups. And the eight of pentacles and the seven of cups here again this is someone who's coming in um and i feel like this person is wanting to make peace this person is wanting to right a wrong okay eight of pentacles this person has done some shadow work they've done some self-healing some work with themselves i don't know but this person has come back uh, uh come back as a changed person um with the seven of cups i feel like there's an 
energy of, you know, this person is coming in and offering you an apology, but I feel like you're not sure if you can trust this person. It's, it's, I think it's very difficult for you to trust this person after what you've been through, but I do see an energy of this person has done some self work and some healing here. They've done some shadow work here. All right. So moving on to Taurus 3030. 3030 for Taurus. Oh, it's very interesting, guys. What is Taurus's person thinking? So we have unblock in the reverse. Blockages removed, paperwork approved, released from a legal obligation. Things go smoothly, all in the reverse. I feel like, you know what? There's an energy with this Taurus. I feel like you were you had an agreement um, or you were going to be reconciling something with this Taurus and somebody has reneged on the agreement. With unblock in the reverse, there could have even been a situation where, you know, this person was supposed to unblock you from their phone because they had their phone unblocked, something about some communication um, that they were going to be lifting, but this person has not done that. They have not opened up the communication between you and them. There's something where this person is closed off here. Under the deck, electronic, new phone, new computer, new TV, new appliance, damage, crack, upgrading, protecting devices. See, this person is, they've got you blocked on their phone and they're not unblocking you. Why? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh, and this is Taurus. And so we are moving on to this deck here for my earth signs. Okay, tell me about Taurus, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about Taurus, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, what is Taurus's person thinking about them right now? Or Cancer, what are you thinking about this Taurus? Holy Spirit, angels and guides. What is your Taurus thinking about you or Taurus? What are you thinking about your person? Or what is your person thinking about you? I keep getting this confused. Sorry. It's what your person is thinking about you. Cancer is dealing with a Taurus and Taurus is dealing with another person. Okay. So we have the devil here. <laughs> Somebody is, oh, okay. Those cards just slid out. So I'll take them the way they came out. So we have the devil. We have the fool. And then we have the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles here. Mm -hmm. Somebody is moving on to someone new. I feel like this person is talking to someone else. Um, there's an energy this person is is afraid to tell you, um, you know, there's just the energy of this person is not communicating. It's like they've moved on to someone new, but they have not communicated that to you. With the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Wands, there's an energy of this person is having a difficult time or it's, you know, it causes this person stress um, every time they think about having this honest conversation with you. Okay. So I feel like they, they are going to move towards you and tell you the truth eventually. Um, but this person is afraid. They are afraid of telling you that they are wanting to move on. Okay. And uh, with protect devices, they're just kind of protecting um, they're protecting the, their emotions. They're being protective right now because they're afraid of how you're going to react towards them. All right. Okay. Moving on to Virgo 3405. What is this person thinking about you? Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell us what Virgo is thinking about cancer. What is Virgo's person thinking about them? We have overcome spiritual obstacles, current major issue. You will find a solution. Lesson learned cycle closed. So there's someone who is um, going through a difficult time. I feel like this person may have had something happen because they didn't listen Um I feel like this person has hit some sort of an obstacle spiritually because there's some thing that the divine is wanting them to do. Um, this person, I feel like eventually they're going to um, 
tune in and figure out what it is that they're supposed to be doing here. But there's something that this person needs to overcome, some sort of a lesson this, this, that this person needs to learn. Okay, something they need to stop doing here. Under the deck, gossip. Jealous people, toxic lies, blocking your success. Haters, evil eye back fighting and watching your every move. So you could just have somebody who has, you know, constantly gossiping, talking about other people here. Um, this Virgo may um, be dealing with an issue where somebody else is talking about them. Okay. Um, but this is going to be, this is going to be overcome. I feel like this person is going to learn their lesson. Something is going to happen. And, you know, this person is just going to stop. I feel like they may say something about somebody and it's going to end up either not being true or it's going to come back to bite them in some kind of way. We have backbiting. I'm telling you, this is going to come back and bite this person and they are going to learn their lesson and they're going to stop talking about people. This person is going to keep, keep your name out of their mouth, basically. Tell me about Virgo, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me more about Virgo. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me more about Virgo. Holy Spirit. Okay, so we have the Two of Cups, the Hanged Woman, and the Five of Wands in the reverse. So this is someone that uh, you have a close connection with, okay? Close soul tie connection. This could be a, a partner, could be a relative, um, somebody that you're very close to and that you care about. Now with the hangman, this talks about an energy of someone who is waiting, okay, on something, okay? Um, and so like I said, I feel like there's an energy of this person um, with the five of wands in the reverse. This is someone who is avoiding or trying to avoid conflict or someone who's trying to resolve an issue, something that this person did. Um, and they, you know, it's like, they don't know how to undo it. Okay. I feel like this person may have said something, um, about someone that they really care about and, and it's coming back to bite them now. Hold on. Just Okay. Sorry about that. Um, so again, that five of wands, when it's in the upright, this is, you know, arguments. This is somebody who may have said something and now they've caused a conflict between two people, you know, and it's like with the hanged man here. Now this person is just kind of sitting there looking crazy. Do you see what I'm saying? saying it's like they said too much and now they're trying to undo the situation um so i do feel like this person is going to learn their lesson the five of wands in the verse does talk about resolution or people who are you know coming together and resolving their issues here all right um but there's going to be a period where you know you don't talk to this person or you know th there's going to be an, an energy of some sort of a pause or a period where you're not speaking to this person OK, but you're essentially they're going to come in and resolve their issues here, because, again, the two of cups, this person does care about you very much and they're going to know that they did wrong. Thirty eight, thirty eight for Capricorn. What is Capricorn thinking about you right now? Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about Capricorn, please. Tell me about cancers dealing with the Capricorn. What is this Capricorn thinking about cancer? Or Capricorn, what is your person thinking about you? Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about Capricorn, please. So we have decision. Difficult decision coming, crossroads, doing what's best for you, choices and options. So there's some sort of a decision that you're contemplating making, whatever it is. This is something that is hard for you. It's not an easy decision, um, but, you know, you are definitely at a crossroads. So you could be, you know, determining whether or not you want to continue in a relationship with this person. There could be an energy of you making a decision of whether or not you want to, you know, move away, take a job in a different state. There's some sort of decision that you're making that's going to put you in a different direction. Under the deck, we have time or the fall. So this could be coming up in the fall. You have a decision to do something. And I feel like you want to make the decision before, you know, this fall, 
or the before next fall. Okay, so between now and next fall. Technically, we're coming out of the fall. We're into the winter now, I believe. Are we in the winter season now? Almost. We're getting close to winter. So this may be a decision that you're going to be making very soon here. And like in the next week. Okay. So let's see. Let's look at the tarot here. Tell me about Capricorn, please. Whoa. Okay. Well, look at this. Look at the cards that came out. The Six of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. Y'all, I'm going to take it. Now, the Six of Swords is an energy of somebody who is looking at moving away. Okay, that Nine of Pentacles talks about someone being independent, pre-empress energy, someone who is taking care of themselves. They're, you know, confident. They're doing fine. This person, you know, is very successful. Um, but I feel like there's an energy of having a decision to make to move towards something more independent. Now with the Queen of Swords, this is, um, I mean, not something that this person has not thought about. <laughs> the Queen of Swords takes a lot of time to think about things, okay, and makes a very constructive decision, okay? But this is someone who is also gonna make the right decision. They're gonna do what's fair, okay? This person is going to definitely be protective over um, people that they love and care about, um, but there's an energy of also doing what's best for them. So, you know, you've got to make a decision or your person is making a decision on whether or not to stay or go. And we have 3838 for the timestamp. That is 1111. So this is a twin flame connection. I feel like this is somebody you've been with um, for a while or maybe somebody you've been with off and on. And this person is deciding if they want to continue the relationship and, or move away and do something completely different. OK. All right. So let's move on to Aries at 4227. Sorry if this message was a bit choppy, but we're getting it done. Tell me about Aries, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about Aries. What is Aries thinking about their person? So well-being in the reverse. Loving self, healing, and rest. Relaxation, taking care of you, self-respect, and boundaries. So there's an energy of this person is feeling as though, I feel like maybe you're crossing um, boundaries with them. There's an energy of this person is feeling as though, you know, they're not able to take care of their own needs whenever you're around. There's an person feels like they may feel as though, you know, you're very um, selfish or, you know, there's an energy of this person is just not able to really, they don't, their needs don't get met. OK, there's an energy of their well-being is not being looked after or they're feeling like their well-being is being ignored. Under the deck, we have protection here. License to carry, purchase of weapon, home alarm, guard dog, spiritual protection may spray whistle. See, this person is feeling an energy of no longer feeling well or safe around you. So if you're dealing with an Aries, this may be somebody who you were um, in a relationship you broke up with, um, but there's something about it that this person, like you no longer feel safe. Maybe there's an energy of this person left and now you feel very um, vulnerable or an energy of this person is doing something to make you feel unsafe. Okay, let's look, let's look here. I'm going to use this deck now. Okay. Tell me about Aries, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell me about Aries, please. And cancer is dealing with an Aries. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell me about Cancer is dealing with an Aries, please. Sun is hot in here all of a sudden. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Guess these fire signs are heating it up here now. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell me about Aries. So we have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. 
the judgment card and the two of wands. So definitely an energy. This person is um, not feeling safe. Okay. That two of wands, this is somebody who is, you know, trying to remain in a safe place. They don't, it's like an energy of not really feeling secure if they go outside of their um, safe place. I don't know if this is their home or this, this person is having a hard time going out now or just feeling safe now that they are no longer with their person. Ace of Cups in the reverse. Again, this talks about some sort of an emotional loss Okay. Or are you feeling very vulnerable after a separation? So with the judgment card, this is someone who is really um, dealing with the fact that, you know, I'm, I'm single. Like I, my person is not here. Um, I don't have my protection that I used to have. I don't feel safe. This is an energy of someone who is no longer feeling safe. So I don't feel like this Aries is this Aries, like your person, is doing anything to make you feel unsafe. I'm just feeling like since the connection has ended or your person has moved or something has taken place where you're no longer feeling um, like your person, like your well-being is being looked after here. Okay. I'm sorry, Aries. Moving on to Sagittarius at 4636. What is Sagittarius thinking about cancer or Sagittarius? What is your person thinking about you right now? Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about Sagittarius. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about Sagittarius. Okay. And we have pet. New pet, visit to the vet, new food. Pet will provide comfort, needs more attention. So I feel like Sagittarius, your person may be feeling as though you, um, like this person is looking towards you like very daringly, almost like one looks towards their pet for uh, like emotional comfort. Um, they always want to have this person around. Um, I feel like you make this person comfortable when this person kind of wakes up, knows that you're in the house. It gives this person a sense of ease and relaxation, just knowing you, you're you there um, with needs more attention here. Again, I feel like there's an energy of this person is wanting to have you close to them at all times, okay? Under the deck, family, spend more time with family. A family member needs you, making family a priority and work-life balance. So like your person is wanting to have you around more. They're missing you. Um, this person is missing your presence or there's an energy of this person feels protected or safe when you are there. Okay. So let's see. Tell me about Sagittarius, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about Sagittarius. What is Sagittarius thinking about their person or cancers? What is Sagittarius thinking about you for the collective? Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about Sagittarius and the collective, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about Sagittarius and the collective, please. Okay. So we have the Queen of Cups, <laughs> very classic energy of someone who is very um, needed or needy towards others or someone who is definitely used to someone being there, okay? They're responsible. They're used to taking care of others. Two of Cups here. This is a very close soul tie connection. This is somebody who loves you very much. This is a very loving connection, loving relationship. And I feel like this person wants to be around. They want to be there for you. This person knows all about work-life balance. They know all about, you know, turning off the phone when they're at home. Um, just giving you attention when you need it, okay? And then we have the Knight of Cup in the reverse. So this is an energy of this person is feeling, it's like this person running hot and cold. You know what I'm saying? It's like, there's an energy of this person may feel as though, you know, or maybe at sometimes this person may be lovey-dovey, but then there's an energy of this person may also want to have time to themselves. 
Okay. So again, having work-life balance, there's an energy of, you know, and I don't want to say this in a bad way, um, you know, because that Knight of Cups can also refer to somebody who's being very passive aggressive with their feelings or emotions. So that's a little different, um, but I don't see it in that way. I'm seeing it more in an energy of, you know, this person, you know, they turn their emotions on, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to being with their person and focusing on their person, but when it comes time to handling business or dealing with something outside of the connection, this person tunes into that, you know what I'm saying? And it doesn't mean that they don't care about their person. It just means that they are focusing their attention where their attention is. Okay. So there's that. Moving on to Leo at 50-55. I got it done, you guys. I got it done in one reading. I'm very proud. Tell me about cancers dealing with a Leo, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell me about cancers dealing with a Leo. Or Leo, tell me about your person. What is your person thinking about you right now? Cancer is dealing with the Leo. What is this Leo thinking about you right now or the connection? Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. So we have social media. Open online business, more activity, online dating, finding old friends and fake accounts. So this person may feel as though you are hitting up um, old girlfriends or boyfriends on social media. Um, this person is feeling as though you're moving a lot more than you used to, or there's something different about your actions that is like this person is starting to have their spidey senses turn on and they are being concerned that there's something going on with you. Under the deck, we have gratitude. Practice gratitude daily. Be grateful for the small things. Show appreciation. More blessings will come to you if you do this. Um, and I'm really feeling like there's an energy really of you are just kind of moving around and not really taking the time to really let your person know that you see them or that, you know, you're paying attention to them. I don't feel as though there's anything going on with the other person. I just feel like this person is not really taking the time out to show appreciation to their person. And their person is feeling very, very much um, ignored. Okay. Very much ignored or like something else may be brewing in the mix. Okay. So let's see. Tell us about this Leo, please. Or you could be thinking this about your person. It could be vice versa, you guys. So tell me about Leo. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell me about Leo, please. Okay, that card went in the reverse. <laughs> okay, tell me about Leo, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell me about Leo. So we have the Hierophant, Taurus energy with the Page of Swords. And the Four of Cups. This does talk about someone who is online. Okay, with that Hierophant, there's an energy of someone who is in a very committed connection. Um, but with the Page of Swords and the Four of Cups, there's an energy of, you know, you've been spending a lot of time online, sending emails, DMing, just kind of chatting online, just a lot of time on your phone. With the Four of Cups, you know, there's an energy of your person is feeling like, like you're you're disconnected from the relationship okay they're starting to feel like you're you're bored with them you know what i'm saying um so there's an energy of needing to let your person know um needing to tell your person that you're grateful for them being around showing appreciation having conversations with their person even if you're on your phone you know what i'm saying just kind of being very um present in the moment with their person instead of running around here and there and not really noticing or recognizing that your, your person even exists. The page of swords is also an energy of communication, but very indirect in, in communication. Like you're sending text messages and all these things, but you're instead of like getting up and walking into the room where your person is and having a conversation with them. Um, so there's an energy of needing to uh, learn this lesson, okay? That Hierophant does talk about a, a lesson or the divine, okay? Teaching you a lesson here. And I'm really feeling like this 
is um, going to happen. I feel like this person is going to realize what they're doing and they are going to take more time out here. Okay. Um, if you would all like to have an extended for each of these individual um, signs and we can take it into an extended and go into more detailed um, energy for you and your person. Also look at the challenges that you may face with this person. Um, okay. And any advice that you need in order to deal with the situation. Okay. Or what, and all, and it's not, or, and what the final outcome is going to be with you and this particular person. I will provide those links to you on an individual basis. If you email me and let me know you would like to have an extended that is not necessarily available, um, then all you need to do is uh, email me and let me know. Now, if I do get extendeds done, um, I will make them available in the description box below. Oh, and you'll see the links for each of them. Okay. I will also label them so you'll know which is for which sign. Okay. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for taking the time to watch this message. And I will be back with a you versus them for cancers. All right. I love you guys so much and I'll see you soon. And I will see you in the extended. Just email me and I will send you that link. Take care and I will see you there. Bye.